Hey guys, so um, for my next project, I've decided to build a solar USB charger, which should charge um, anything that plugs in via USB. So, you know, your phones, uh, iPods, MP3 players, tablets, and all that stuff. Um, and I obviously haven't built it yet, so I figured I'd uh, make a little how-to video explaining on how to assemble one for yourself. So um, the first component is obviously your solar panel which I got on eBay for uh, $15 free shipping which is pretty good it's uh, 9 volts 3.3 uh, watts about uh, 0.4 amps so um, because it's 9 volts and USB is 5 volts you need something called a uh, voltage regulator which is right here if my camera wants to focus there we go so um down here on your bottom left is going to be your voltage input so the 9 volts from the solar panel goes in here on the left and it goes through here and then as it travels through it's going to come back out over here on the right the right prong and it's going to be 5 volts so this basically converts um, your DC voltage from anything above 5 up to like I think like 30 or something like that to 5 volts and then your center is just your ground and um, so obviously you're going to have to have something with female USB so I've just um, I took a got it from Radio Shack it was one of those like it's a housing box for um, like I think it's AAA or AA batteries and I just um, took my Dremel and like smoothed it all out on the inside made some room and then I already went ahead and put a uh, female USB there which if it wants to focus there we go so on your bottom left over here, um, you can see there's four little prongs inside. Your bottom left one is going to be um, your ground. So your negative, and then the middle two are just data, which you don't need to worry anything. No worry about those because we're not transferring data; we're just uh, transferring power. And then your well here one all the way on the right, that's where your um, five volts is. So if you look at the prongs, the prongs pretty much correspond. You have, you know, this prong matches up with, you know, this down here. So it's, this is your ground. And then all over here is your uh, 5 volts. So, you know, that's that. And you're obviously going to need, you know, some wire, uh, some solder, and some heat shrink tubing. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and solder the uh, voltage regulator to the... Um, USB in here and I'll show you after that's done. Okay, so I just finished up with the soldering and I'd figure I'd uh, run you guys through it just to make sure you fully understand. So up over here you have the 9 volts DC coming in from the panel. It travels along this red wire and then down into the enclosure um, up to the left prong of the voltage regulator. So it comes in here, 9 volts, goes through the regulator, comes out over here as 5 volts. And it travels along this wire, down along here, and it hooks up to the right prong of the US, female USB. It's kind of hard to tell me the better angle here. So you have, so you have, connects right here on the right prong, and remember we said those two middle prongs aren't being used because they're data and we're not transferring data. And so the positive goes to that right prong and then you have the ground, or the negative, which goes to the left prong. And you see here, because you have the you, because you have negative for your um, voltage regulator, I have it split up right here into two, it splits into two wires, and you have one wire goes to the ground or negative on the voltage regulator, and then the other thick black wire here, it snakes all through here and it comes out the enclosure and then just goes to the um, negative of the panel. So that's pretty much it with the wiring. Here I'll zoom in in case you want to see, you know, print it out or take a picture or whatever and um, use it as a, you're gonna have like a makeshift diagram. Um, you know, it's pretty basic wiring, um, nothing too complicated. So I'm just going to close up the enclosure now and 
it's night out right now, but tomorrow I'm going to hook it up to my phone and MP3 player and um, my voltmeter and see how it works. Alright, so I got the uh, solar panel working. I finally got a day where it was sunny out. It's been raining the past like three days. But it's uh, Christmas morning actually. So, uh, I just got it hooked up to my phone. And the sun's going in and out a little, so you can see the uh, red light up here means it's charging. So, uh, it's, you know, it's working. I put it more in the sun, the trees. But, uh, I figured out it doesn't charge iPods, which, uh, I think has to do something with Apple's proprietary proprietary stubbornness in not allowing any like you know, they don't like aftermarket stuff. But um, I think I looked up online. I think it's a pretty easy fix. I think I just have to mess around with the uh, the female USB. I think put a resistor or something in. I'm not sure though. I just looked at it up real quick last night. But um, so yeah, it's I mean it's charging. It'll charge pretty much anything besides iPods right now, just because Apple. I don't, you know, Apple's Apple, but, um, so it charges my phone, charges my sister's, uh, she has a Verizon, like, Envy, and, uh, it should charge any, like, you know, little USB stuff you have, I don't know, it's even some people have, you know, USB lights for their, uh, well, that's kind of contradictory, because you're already in the sun if you have a solar panel, but, um, yeah, it works, the one thing I am kind of worried about is when we were working, when I put the, uh, um, voltage regulator in here. Um, it has a heat sink on it, and this is this is plastic, the little enclosure. So I'm wondering if the heat sink gets warm enough to uh, melt the plastic or something. I don't know. I've never I've never used one of the voltage regulators before, so that's some testing I have to do. And I'll have to wait for a sunnier day because right now it's kind of cloudy out and the sun's going in and out. So I'm gonna get a day and you know just make sure and have it out here in the sun for an hour or two just to make sure that the little heat sink inside here on the voltage regulator doesn't get too hot and melt the plastic but you know right now it's working good so thinking about building like a little like neoprene case and you know, maybe like a little foam case or something and you know I can uh you know a little handle you know a little handle on it so I can carry it around and you know put it in my uh bag for when I bring it to the beach or whatever you know make it a little more sturdy but yeah it works good so uh thanks for watching you know comment rate subscribe you know if you have any questions ask and you know, i'll try to answer it it was a pretty basic pretty basic build um and you know should have some more videos up you know more uh solar and you know stuff like that so uh let me know what you think thanks for watching